standings as of Millville. Eli Tomac, two-time defending champ, now has 342 points. Marvin Muskin has 304. Ken Roxon has 293. And in fourth place with 288 points is Cooper Webb. Start the press conference off with Cooper Webb's first question. Um, it's been a little while since we've seen you in one of these. And uh, what's been going on between the start of the season and now? Yeah, it's, uh, it's great to, to be up, up front again and, uh, you know, be able to get a win is, is incredible. Obviously, uh, I've yet to be on the podium overall, so uh, it's nice to, to do that and, and be, uh, you know, up front today. It was, it was awesome. Next question for Eli Tomac. Eli, after uh, Moto1, you, were, you haven't showed much anger emotion. You were, you were upset after that. The lappers weren't cooperating at all, were they? No, I mean, I, I got stuck, stuck by that guy bad, but at the same time, there was, like, one really fast line, and he never wanted to move, so that was that. Um, but anyway, yeah, the first moto there was, like, we had that one good line going, and, and so if, if someone was there, it wasn't like you could get around him right away. Zach Osborne, uh, strong ride today. Tell us through a little bit of your second moto, because that, uh, that was a solid moto. Thank you. Uh, I, I haven't actually done two motos since Southwick, I guess. Um, I crashed the week after and uh, hurt my shoulder and, you know, I'm really fortunate to be here today and uh, very fortunate to be on the podium. I mean, um, the second moto, there was a point there where I thought like, okay, you know, I can go for a win and I put in like two or three really good laps behind Cooper and um, just kind of, that was it. That was all my shoulder had. The last five laps, I was just hanging on for dear life basically and um, in a good bit of pain. So it's nice to, to, for it to pay off and be some reward. Cooper in Moto2, you uh, got a pretty good start, but it seemed like Ken Roxon was able to, to get up quickly, get the lead, and then did you have to like kind of just set back and settle for a minute and try to regroup and come after him, or what was the second Moto story? Yeah, I actually crashed. Um, so I was out front and had a tip over, and he was able to get around me. So I uh, got back up and, you know, was feeling, feeling good and was able to catch him there at the end and uh, get him, I think, with two to go. So it was... Uh, Definitely a hard charge, and uh, it was nice to, to be able to make that pass and, and have a 1-1 a one, one moto score is, is incredible. Dark side, Moto X Pod Show. Uh, Cooper, win a Supercross championship, a lot comes with that, a lot of responsibilities, a lot of expectations. Um, has any of that affected you coming into the outdoors where you just stuff maybe you weren't prepared for? like media you know media media requirements anything like that um i mean obviously you know it, it definitely a lot more but uh when you when you do so well in supercross you kind of expect to do you know similar in outdoors and it's it's a whole new game you know and uh it was a lot of learning for me you know it's had to kind of start with uh setting up with the bike and um really you know kind of getting motos underneath me and and stuff like that and uh it's been a big adjustment for sure and like i said to, for me uh the class is is stacked you know this year and um you know especially those first couple races i felt like i was riding really good and going six six you know so uh it was tough but uh we, we keep improving and we keep getting better and i feel uh like i'm at a good good spot where i've learned a lot with uh you know, my body and the bike and doing a full season and, um, you know, how, how outdoors kind of work on the 450 a little bit. Zach, you've talked about coming into the season. There's, there's no room, no time for a rookie season, you know, learning. You, you know what you got to do. Uh, you come in with some injuries. You're, uh, you got hurt again. But So what, what does having a third place, a podium, mean with all the things that you've gone through I mean, and still get a podium? Yeah, it's, it's a big deal for me. I mean, uh, you know, I think this is my fourth podium outdoors. And um, aside from the, the, the missed round at Red Bud, it's been a pretty, pretty good season, I would say. Uh, I think I'm fifth or sixth in the championship, and that's not too, too bad considering, you know, I haven't missed a round. So um, I, there's a lot of positives to take and, and a really just kind of what I, ex what I expect of myself. Um, I've, I would love to get a win before the end of the season. Um, and I think that that's pretty realistic, especially if I can get my shoulder back to 100%. So we'll just keep, keep working away. And, um, yeah, the main thing right now is getting recovered and, and making my shoulder as, as strong as possible. 
Uh, Jason from Racer X. Cooper, um, you didn't have to beat Roxon to get the overall. Uh, what made you try to jump that triple and try to get him back and fight back like that? Were you just feeling it? Did you want the Moto win regardless of how it affected the overall? Yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, I felt really good at the beginning of the race. You know, we were right there with each other battling. I think he passed me and I actually passed him back. And, uh, you know, I just kind of knew if I could dig deep um, that, that he wouldn't maybe go the whole distance. So, uh, you know, was able to get a good flow and was catching him a bit by bit by bit. And uh, I knew it'd be close. So uh, I just kept plugging away and, and focusing on trying to catch him. And uh, I really just wanted the moto win. <laughs> um, did it just, Cooper, did it just happen to work out for you today or has something changed over the last couple of weeks or even the off weekend that made you feel better even coming in? Did you know today might be a better day? Yeah, you know, I think it's, it's been getting better. I mean, um, progressively for sure. And uh, honestly, I think the biggest thing was this weekend, we, I was really able to unwind and take some time off and uh, kind of recover. And I think that was a, a huge thing for me. And, uh, you know, we figured a little bit out with the bike this week. And, um, you know, I think I just came a little fresher and mentally kind of uh, recharged a bit. So, uh, yeah, I think it was obviously good to have that little break. You've always fed off of confidence. We saw that in Supercross. On the gate, ready for Moto2. Did you feel different mentally because you suddenly had a Moto win under your belt for the first time? Oh, for sure. I mean, it was uh, obviously that comes with having to back it up. Um, but, you know, I, I th even though it was muddy, whatever, you know, first Moto, it was still uh, a Moto win for me. So uh, it was a huge confidence gain and knowing that I, I was able to do it. And, um, especially in the 450 class, like I said, is totally different than 250s. And uh, so, yeah, it was mindset going in the second moto, like I said, was, was I knew I could do good and to go out and, and try to achieve what I achieved. Uh, for Eli, I know it wasn't your best day and it was third overall and you want to get wins, but it seems like even on off days this year, you've done a good job of salvaging. Like you still manage to get a fifth if you go down or a third overall today. Uh, is that something you've worked on to, to at least minimize the damage? Because points-wise, it's worked out really well this year. Yeah, I mean, today, like, I was, like, that second moto, I was, like, a whole different guy. It wasn't good, but, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just, like, uh, I don't know if you just get older, you get a little bit more uh, calm mentally, or you just, it's just experience, and it goes along with it. But uh, we have done a good, good job this year at managing it, so um, we'll take it. Yeah, so when you leave on it, we've seen you go 1-1 one, one and have big days. Uh, are you in some ways just as proud to be able to do something like this if you do well, not on your best day, or are you not going to be happy unless you're winning? <laughs> I mean, big picture, yeah, I'm yeah. pumped. But uh, today pitcher, no, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty frustrated after that second mode just because I'm a racer, right? So, yeah. um, but anyway, yeah, we're thinking big picture too. Uh, Brad Gephardt, Big MX Radio. Uh, Eli, you seem to uh, struggle with consistency, consistency uh, specifically in the sand whoops in the first moto. Uh, I think you went in through there 10 different ways or times, different entrances. Uh, what about that made that so tricky for you, and what did you change between motos to make that a little bit more, or did you make any changes? Yeah, I, I felt like moto two is where I was struggling in the, in the sand rollers a lot. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So anyway, yeah, normally I'm really good in the rollers just because I have, like, good leverage with my legs, but today I was struggling in there, so uh, I don't know what was going on. This question is for Zach. Zach, how uh, was your shoulder today? Uh, I'm asking because you, there was a, a weekend off, but I, I was watching you, and it looked like maybe after the moto you were... It was, it was maybe bothering you some. Yeah, I mean, uh, the first moto was okay, and I was able to kind of work in a gap there at the end and um, kind of cruise a little bit. But the second moto, like I said, I put in that, like, three or four hard laps in the beginning and then um, was in a position to maybe make a charge to the front. And, uh, you know, Cooper was right there, and, and I just didn't have anything to go with. And then after those, that little spurt, it was pretty smoked. I mean... Um, the problem right now is, you know, the, the joint is stretched and it has to scar in and that doesn't happen in two weeks. So it gets a little bit loose and, and tired. And then I'm compensating with my arm, you know, further out and, and my neck. And um, those muscles get tired or quicker because they're not as, as used to, to the workload. So 
it's just a matter of managing it. And um, I got I let it get a little bit ahead of me at, at one point in the moto. And um, yeah, I mean, considering where I was 10 days ago, I'm very, very happy and, and grateful to be on the podium. And really to even be racing, there was a point where I was like, yeah, I think, think it's over because they had thought that there was a fracture under my plate uh, again. And um, that came to be false. So uh, yeah, like I said, it, it was almost my, my season done at one point. So to be again on the podium and um, just moving forward, it's a great feeling. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. Look forward to seeing all of you in Washougal in one week. Folks, this is the 450 podium. Cooper Webb picks up his first win.